Boy, just took a shower in that thing right there. My stuff here. The fucking homeless shelter, bro. Oh, the homeless shelter. This fucking bitch kicked me out of that place for a month. Because she had to talk shit and treat me like a kid. She told me something. She, I just talked back to her and she, they kicked me out for a month. So now I'm taking a shower at SDSU outside. They got this little hose. Let me show you guys. Let me put on actually my clothes. This is what I got. You know, see the abs. You see the abs. The cushion mushion. Look at beautiful San Diego SDSU. Whew. I'm about to show you guys where I just took a shower. I used to work out there sometimes. Wow. Just put on my shorts. I'm about to clean that up. It's no, it looks like a mess, but I'm about to clean it up. Let me take y'all where I took a shower. Yeah, you see that little hose right here? That right there. I'm like trying to show you. I'm really in a deep situation. I know, I know I'm gonna make it though. I know I'm gonna be super rich. That's why I'm making this documentary of Rise of Hustle. Right there, cold ass shower. I gotta do this for like a month now. Now it's been like I, I, it's been a week now. I've been doing it for a week and a half, but it's cool. Yeah. Oh, well, guys, I just had a big idea, a big uh, epiphany. So I was in the homeless shelter. I just just went to go get some mail at the homeless shelter. And wow, when I was walking back, I realized uh, I got to implement artificial intelligence into Hush Loop. That's what I'm going to do. I recommend anybody out there that's trying to make a business to start implementing your own artificial intelligence. Remember, this stuff, you don't need to, uh, it sounds big. You got to think big. But anything big starts simple, so it's easy. Start small. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, with just, I don't know how to do it. I can just hire someone to, to do it. But it's good to know basics. You know, I'm gonna read up on some. I already know a lot about uh, a few little things like uh, components of AI is uh, machine learning and deep learning. And there is some other ones. There's limited AI and there's reactive AI. You see, you just learn the basics. And there's still some more I have to learn. Uh, so I'm gonna implement an AI in Hustoop that will show you guys methods on how to generate uh, how to generate methods. That's what we we plan on doing on Hustoop. I know it's the beginnings, and I'm going through a lot right now, and I, I, I'm trying to focus on this flipping business. And um, Hustoop is gonna be on it's, it's on it's on the rise. You know, I, put, I had put up a deadline to put the social network up November first. I'm not sure if I still can do it, but at least I'll have a small, small version of it. Yeah, man. I was, I've been thinking about AI now for like, like the last eight months, but not really doing too much research, just watching videos on it. You know, I'm always into deep stuff, you know? And also too, I want to, uh, robotics is another thing you should, I should try to think of going into. This is all the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution. I don't, like... We're in the fourth industrial revolution right now. The stuff like 3D printing, nanotechnology, uh, augmented reality, virtual reality as well. Those are two separate things, augmented and virtual. They're, diff they're, they're different. And there's a lot of other, other stuff that's coming out like robotics. This is all the fourth industrial revolution. But I want to call it the fourth technological revolution. Industrial revolution sounds old school. We need to call this the fourth te technology revolution. What's up, guys? Listening to uh, Nipsey Hustle. About to get ready to do some work, and I, I, I thought of him came to my, uh, it came to my head. Like, you know, I didn't tell nobody this, but I was kind of embarrassed. But when he died, I, I never really like, I never, when it happened, that. That day, like, that's when I thought about, like, the, like I don't know if it was around the, the hour or somewhere around he died. Like, I was sitting down. I was sitting down. It was an SDSU. And I was sitting down, and I see this this this, this guy, a youngster, white kid, just go, walk in front of me. And he was uh, just, he walks there, and he stands. We were in the, we're in upstairs in this, this open area. And uh, I just get this feeling, like, I just got an idea, like, I don't know why. I just asked him, hey man, you, uh, do you know, do you, I just I just asked him, do, do, uh, what do you think about social networks? And he tells me, uh, he tells me, I'm actually working on creating a social network right now. I was like, what? And then we talked 
his name is Simon uh, Simon Boyle. I have I uh, he, he, then he, I walk up to him and we talk, and we sit down. We start talking. He tells me everything he's doing, how he used to make money, and it made me inspired me that like he's trying to do he was doing he was an entrepreneur. He was doing startups. He was in Silicon Valley. He was in the news. He showed me his news thing. I'm gonna play the uh, uh, Simon Boyle. Like I have his audio. We, I, when I was talking to him, I talked to him for like around two hours. Yeah, so? So what I, would, what I would recommend is that if you go to Los Angeles, man, you gotta make big baller moves. Because you gotta understand that Los Angeles, man, that's yeah. where everything is. All the whole music industry is confined to 50 to 100 different buildings. And on top of that, maybe 100 to 500 major players and people. Yeah. All it takes is the right handshake with the right person, and you can make some serious stuff happen. Right. And let me tell you something, you're gonna be worrying about, oh, my, my programs don't work this way. Uh, Man, it doesn't matter. They, they care about you. They care What's about your you name, as a bro? person. Simeon. Simeon. All right, Simeon. Man. Maybe yeah. I might hold this thing when yeah. I do become famous. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I will save every recording of mine is that I talk to strangers yeah. that are important and, like, remember the That's name. good, man. Simeon. Remember it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I see that. I, That's I, I, motivational I, for people. Yeah, yeah. I have no doubt that you can be famous, man. You got yeah. So it's about connections, man. So you got to, man, to be used by their company for a big contract, for a big deal. That's what I'm saying. When I, when I, when I went to Breakdown, it's this company called Breakdown Services, I got a meeting with their CEO because I built a product for their company. Then I was about to sign a million-dollar contract because that's that, that's fast. They were on my product. What I'm also saying, man, it's just to get advice from these people, man. Yeah. Get advice from them, you know? Because they'll give you their advice. I actually contacted a person. I, I was big in video editing. I went on LinkedIn. Do you have a LinkedIn? I have. No, I don't. Get a LinkedIn, man. And okay, so up. in my sense, though, why, you, why would I read? Okay. So this is so kind of like now, like you're saying that this is for um, Rocket Beach is for... Um, Getting emails. No, you, you're trying to get like a contracts. But that's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I'm trying, I, no, I, I'm I trying to own that. everything. I feel that. Yeah, that, that's really good. Well, then I recommend this just for advice because... When, uh, when I was wanting to be a video editor, I, I linked in with this guy. He was a movie. He, he edits movies. He edited the movie Gravity. He won an Oscar for best editor. He won an Oscar. I called him the next day and I said, "Congratulations." He said, "Thank you." He just looked at my LinkedIn. He saw my he saw my story. I said, "I like." I was humble. I said, "I like your work. I like you know I'm you know I'm new. You know I, I you know I, I'm humble. You know this is my story. You know for you, I'm from Sudan. I'm from yeah. a refugee. Refugee. I thought this thing, this yeah. whole thing of your method right now is for." Finding a contract. It could be, but it's mainly about getting advice. It's about them giving you their advice so that way they can tell they can tell so that way you can have a person who's at the top yeah. who teaches you, you know, who brings you up with you and they say, Hey, I like that. They might they might say, I like your idea, but check it out. I got all these other people yeah. who are making it happen and maybe you could use maybe you could build something for my people yeah. and then all of a sudden you're building something that's really high up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they, so it's a short so so, so you're su you're successful. You're a successful person. That's right. I've done you, successful things. You, I've you, I've worked with Will I am. Yeah. Uh, I I've 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 made it in this world, yeah. Hundred percent. I've worked on a show that was nominated for a daytime Emmy. It's you had a job, you're working and then you met another guy. Yeah, I, I, I moved all around. I, yeah, when I was in Los Angeles. You were paying yeah. paid a lot or I, I at, at my prime, I was I was paying three thousand a month for my apartment. Uh, I was making eight thousand a month. For real, legitimately. Legitimately. And, well, okay, this is when I was Angeles? nineteen. Yeah, and I dropped out of school, and I, I don't make school. Basically, man, you just gotta get in with these real people. You gotta get in with these real people who are out there doing real things, and, and make your presence known because it will help you. And you have a good mindset. Yeah. You have a good spirit. You have a willingness to learn. So, so the reason I have to to get to these people mm -hmm. is to. To get advice from them, that's the main reason? Advice and, not just advice, but they'll bring you into their circle. What I recommend for you is, is if you build, a, you build a prototype, I mean honestly, you don't even need a prototype. You can even just say, hey, I'm from Sudan, here's my story, I'm a refugee, you know, I'm trying to build something, you know, mm -hmm. I'm interested, I'm passionate about the music industry, you know. Yeah. If, you, if you have some time where maybe we can meet, meet up and talk. Now all of a sudden you have a phone, you have a phone maybe call. He can, maybe he can promote my business in return, I promote yeah. him. And now all of a sudden you partnership. Now all of a sudden you're sitting outside of Universal Studios, you know, eating coffee, you know, drinking coffee with a multimillionaire who's giving you advice. I mean, that's the way to do it, man. You got to get advice from people. You had that happen to you, though? I've had it happen to the point. I mean, I've had it with the, the guy who won the Oscars. I worked for John Tesh. He has sixty million dollars. Um, he has sixty million dollars. He dated Oprah before she became Oprah. Yeah. I mean, this is how. I that's the same. That was around the same time Nipsey Hussle died. That was around the same time, like. It was like around two, three o'clock. Uh, that same night after I finished talking to Simon, that same day after I talked to him, that nighttime I was, I went to like Chula Vista, going to where I sleep, all the way down far from SDSU, like south of San Diego.
And uh, when I was walking, I already told you guys the story in the, the last episode. When I was walking, I meet this one other homeless dude, uh, brother, and he tells me, hey, man, did you, did you know what happened to Nipsey Hussle today? He died. I was 